Six, Governor Gavin Newsom is getting some help from the White House in the recall election. President Joe Biden is set to join Governor Newsom on the campaign trail in his bid to survive the upcoming recall election. The president is set to visit Long Beach on Monday, the day before the election. But earlier the same day, he's set to visit Sacramento to survey recent wildfire damage. Vice President Kamala Harris visited our state on Wednesday. She campaigned for Newsom in the Bay Area. ABC 10's political reporter Morgan Reiner has the latest from the campaign trail. Newsom's campaign bringing in the big guns. Oh, it's good to be home. Ahead of the finish line Tuesday, but Newsom's campaign is preparing for this election to drag out beyond the 14th. Don't declare the election day count the bar margin of victory. Saying times have changed. Unlike years prior, Democrats now vote early, Republicans on day of. We also expect, based on Republicans' messaging um, that has been focused on not believing that these elections are safe, that we're going to see high turnout for Republicans on Election Day. But in California, ballots can still be counted for a week after the election if they are postmarked before or on Election Day. In the, in the gubernatorial in 2018, 36% of the vote came in after, and it was, you know, it was north of 4 million ballots. So political commentator Wendy Patrick agreed. Expect the votes after the election to sway back to blue. All of those ballots that are coming in after the fact to be counted those may all be blue and echoed the same message on election day. Neither side can start popping the champagne corks. That's just when the counting is going to begin. And don't forget, you can watch our coverage of the recall election Tuesday right here on ABC 10 and look for the election results the next morning on Morning Blend. And, you know, I'll be looking for all your updates while on your Facebook page. It's going to be an exciting day. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brittany.